everybody. My name is John Taylor Timmons with Red Eye Film Productions, and today we are doing a super quick, super loose review on this thing called the Arsenal. Now, I basically kind of know what this does. It's supposed to first take the photo for you um, using your, your camera setting. That's pretty cool. Um, also, it does uh, automatic photo stacking, so you don't have to do it in Photoshop, and that is super cool. It was advertised to me on Facebook a couple days ago. I just bought it. I have connected it. I have updated the firmware. You have to do that beforehand. I watched the intro video. Um, so once the firmware is updated, you can just go outside and start shooting with it. So we're going to see how easy and how hard or how hard it is to shoot with this thing right out of the box without knowing much about it. We're going to be taking photos of my beautiful fiance over here, Madison, and we're going to knock this thing out. All right, everybody. So I have the arsenal hooked up to the camera. Um, this is only the second time uh, that I've turned it on because I had to update that firmware and get it connected to the phone. So um, I don't have the app open yet. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it down. That's what happens when you turn it on. All right, so it looks like it's about on. And Arsenal, let's see. So it asked me, do I wanna join its Wi-Fi? So I'm gonna join it. And it connected pretty fast, maybe like five seconds. I'm in this area where there's a very, very uh, stark contrast. So obviously, you know, she's really dark and the background's really, uh, really light. We're shooting on an um, EOSR. So with the help of this, um, we should have a really good dynamic range, but I want to see what the arsenal can do. It shows me a live view. So Madison, stop waving that real quick. Go ahead and wave your hand. And so just like, just like a one second lag, not bad at all. It's really cool. It's a little, um, it's a little jittery, but not terrible. Um, all right, so it shows me the shutter, the ISO, and the aperture. All right, so we have a smart mode. Uh, whoop, we have a smart mode, a manual, a time lapse, and a video, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna st I'm gonna stick with smart for this review, um, uh, and I'm gonna click this. I don't know what this means. So it does not stack photos here. This is long exposure stacking, focus stacking, exposure bracketing and auto, um, so that's pretty wicked. I'm gonna go back to focus stacking. All right, so let's go ahead and click this. Okay, so um, single point, so tap to focus on a point. Oh, wow, okay, so it just locked right onto her face, just like autofocus, that's really cool. Multi-point, I think what that is, uh, tap on a near and far point, so it's gonna use, I guess, like a, um, a point A and a point B, um, and then the whole scene, let's see what that means. Uh, let Arsenal determine settings to get as much of the scene in focus as possible. So I want it to lock onto her face, and it did. We go back away, and so um, she is. It's really bright in the background, and she's pretty dark. So <clears throat> I am going to take this smart photo and see what it does. All right, all right. So you have to take focus stacking off to use single point. It looks like. So we're going to do it again. All right, it just snapped the photo. The shutter, the shutter just closed. So let's see if it's gonna show up in that gallery. There it is, boom. So it blew out the background completely, all right. But it made sure that she was exposed properly, so that's interesting. All right, so in the last photo, it blew out the background, but now I'm gonna use this really hot, super bright sun to throw some light on her with this bounce. Now, I have locked onto her. I have locked onto her, and um, it's done an incredible job of locking on focus-wise, which is really, really cool. I really like that. All right, so I'm gonna go back to take the photo. I'm gonna throw some light on her. There we go. And let's take the smart photo. All right. All right, so uh, it did something really, really cool. It took it to one over two uh, 250 F1.6 ISO 100 automatically. It did it itself. Um, because I had those settings all whopper jot. I wanted to see if it, if it brought it back, and it did. Um, and it took a really great photo. Like, this photo is awesome. So we have lost sun, so now I am going to take the same photo in smart mode. Focus is still locked, and uh, let's see what it does. So right now it's 1 over what, uh, 1600, F1.6, ISO 100, I'm taking it. All right, it took it, uh, it, took it to 640. 1 over 640, f1.8, ISO 100 automatically. So far, I'm extremely impressed with 
this arsenal. Before we go to the focus stacking portion of this video, I wanna just do a really quick uh, explanation of what it is. So basically, uh, you take multiple photos, um, use at uh, different focal lengths, and combining them in post, or in this case, an app, and uh, it, it, it basically creates a all-encompassing, all-focused uh, photo that's really sharp from the background to the foreground. Let's do it. So I'm gonna go right over here, focus stacking. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna go to multi-point. Now I'm gonna click her face for A. It's focusing on point A. And I have it focus stacking three photos, all right? Now I'm gonna focus B. Madison, hold as still as you can, all right? Okay, now it is locked out. It's finding the scene boundaries. I don't know what that means, but let's do it. Accounting for lighting and depth of field. Resampling points at new aperture, which is interesting. And we're getting more sun now, so that's gonna make it a lot harder. I think you noticed that because now it's resampling points at new aperture again, finding optimal hyperfocal position. Setting optimal aperture. Okay, so I think it did it. Now let's go back. Madison, hold still. All right, I just hit the button. Analyzing scene for focus stack, it started. It is taking a minute, I'm not gonna lie. Focus bracket shot one of three. All right, so we just shot one of three. Hold still, Madison is taking the photo. All right, two of three has been taken. It's about to take the third one, Madison. All right, it just took the third one. Let's go to gallery real quick. So these are the three photos, and it looks like this is the one combined. I think it's still working. I'm not sure. Those, little, uh, those four little bubbles are, are going up, so it might still be working, but this is really cool to be able to focus stack inside of an application. All right, I think it's done. Okay, so when shooting with a human model, <clears throat> as you can see, she did move a little bit, but that's okay because we got a really cool photo because it's, you know, that in the back and she's in focus right here. So, so I, I think it's really, really cool. It's, I wouldn't use it for a model, um, but if you have, you know, two trees, one's close, one far, you want to get them both in focus. I think this is the perfect, uh, this is the perfect technology to do so. I gotta say, Arsenal, you have built a really, really cool piece of technology. Um, I'm really excited to get out in the field and use it more. Uh, this is only my first day with it and I'm honestly super stoked about this. So that ends this super quick review. I know it was very brief, but you know, I only had a couple hours to shoot it. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys watching. Please consider uh, subscribing to our channel. We do a bunch of stuff like this, plus you can keep up with us just as a production company. Uh, we are currently in the process of shooting a feature. Um, uh, it's pre-production and uh, we are gonna be shooting, uh, I will not say his name, uh, November 19th through December 3rd and a couple other days for inserts and whatnot. But, you know, so, so subscribe to keep up with us for that and uh, subscribe for more videos like this. You know, sometimes when uh, technology is advertised and it's, it's new, I, I'll just buy it and then do a super quick review. So uh, thank you so much for watching and peace out.